Hey guys, Leyland here, and I wanted to find out if a Pokemon's base speed reflected in the new synchronizing mechanic in Scarlet and Violet's DLC, The Indigo Disc. Starter Edition! For this video, I grouped every starter from all nine generations, including the Hisuian forms from Legends, because their base speed slightly differs from their counterpart. I tested them based on their base speed stat, reaching from this tree to the one all the way on the other end, and the results were... interesting. Go ahead and leave a comment down below on who you think is the fastest starter using the synchronizing mechanic. So I went ahead and grouped three Pokemon for each test, and it goes from slowest to fastest. All of their base speeds are going to be at the top, and the timer for each is going to be at the bottom. That way you guys can see how it's reflected. Starting off, we have Blastoise, Primarina, and Superior. And I'm sure most of you guys have already noticed, Superior has nearly double the base speed of the other two. Yet, despite this, it has one of the slowest times recorded in this test. And to be honest, that's just so odd to me. So I'm going to go ahead and let these run so that way you guys can watch, and I'm just going to comment on something that comes up. Can we just appreciate the Venusaur actually hops like a frog? Like, I really like it. Honestly, the craziest thing I thought when testing Delphox is just, why is it casually walking? I think it would at least do like a fast jog, maybe, due to its space speed. This is just another one of those reasons on why I wanted to make this kind of video, because it's honestly really interesting to see how the base stat of their speed does not reflect how they perform in synchronizing. I just, I absolutely love Empoleon's run. It's literally Naruto running. Now, this one honestly got me questioning just how Swampurp is so ridiculously fast. It has one of the slowest speed among all the other starters beyond Torterra, yet here it is, with an incredible time! Less than 10 seconds. And now we reach the part where their base speeds actually make sense, all of which are over 100. And we go right back to where it doesn't make any sense. Like, honestly, I I, I didn't think Blaziken was so slow compared to the other starters. I think it's its hidden ability, which is what made me think that it was one of the fastest Pokemon out there. It's only 80. And funny enough, you guys, it's Blaziken that wins with the fastest time. So looking back, some of the most interesting things that came out of this for me 
is that the synchronizing mechanic shows us that the Pokemon don't reflect their base speed, as they do if they were in a battle. Probably the ones that stand out the most are like Superior. It has well over 100 base speed, but yet it's one of the slowest. Like, I get Blastoise and Primarina, big bulky turtle, and a slow-moving seal, yet it's just wild that Superior is so slow, despite its base speed being so fast. When I first started these tests, I did Torterra first, and honestly, it felt so slow and sluggish, so much that I swore it was going to be one of the slowest. And technically it is. Not all the Pokémon move like most people would expect them to. Like I said before, probably another surprising one is, honestly, Swampert. It only has a base speed of 60, yet this test is outpacing some Pokémon that have double its own base speed. All of this was really cool to test out. Be sure to let me know your thoughts down in the comment section below. Let me know if you're right and your guess on who was the fastest. Also, let me know what else you want me to test with synchronizing. With that being said, you guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to smash that like button. If you're new and you enjoy the content and you want to see more, subscribe to the channel. I'm also aiming to reach 10k by the end of the year. I know it's a pretty huge goal, but I'm sure you guys can help me reach it. Much appreciated. Thank you to my wonderful lovely members that help support the channel. My name is Leyland, and I hope you have a wonderful day, you guys. What other fun stuff can we do with this mechanic, I wonder? Maybe hide and seek? <laughs> Later.